It's a downside to development in the oil industry, animals affected by spills. Today we were there for a unique look at the recovery of wildlife following an oil seepage in Cold Lake on July 26th. Nancy Carlson joins us now with more. So Nancy, more and more oil companies are including this kind of wildlife recovery in their spill response. Yes, and it's not very often we get to see firsthand the impact bitumen has on animals. Now specialists from local, national and international rehabilitation programs are in Edmonton treating wildlife affected by the bitumen seepage near Cold Lake. And this is a look at what happens. What you're seeing is an American coot going through the cleaning process. There is a standard procedure the teams follow, and they do actually use Dawn dishwashing liquid because they say it has been proven to remove the bitumen best. While this process can be stressful on the animals, they say it is better than the alternative. What happens to these guys when they're impacted by oil is that there can be internal effects from ingesting, often shows up in their gastrointestinal tract. Um, there also can be external burning and one of the biggest problems with it is that it completely disrupts the waterproofing. In addition to that American coot we showed you being cleaned there, at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Society of Edmonton, there are two American beavers, a pair of muskrats and a mallard duckling. Meantime, those with Canadian Natural Resources Limited say wildlife rescue is a big part of the cleanup and management of the impacted area. All the sites have uh, wildlife fencing and wildlife deterrence to make sure we keep wildlife out. Uh, we have wildlife crews going around surveying, assessing, collecting, capturing uh, any wildlife. And uh, if they're outside our perimeter fence, they release them at locations around there. Um, if they have signs of impact, then they come down here for treatment. Those with CNRL say the area where the seepage is happening has been contained. Testing on the water and sediment is being done daily. A team of investigators is also working to determine the cause and figure out how to prevent it from happening again. Mm. Gord, Caroline. All right, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. From the time an animal is captured to when it's healthy enough to be released back into the wild, it's about 14 days.